All GeoStudio.gsz files are compressed files and contain a group of input and output files. The .gsz files can be opened and extracted using WinZip, for example. The extracted files can be opened and viewed with text editors or as Excel.csv files. Let's go to GeoStudio and we don't need to uh, open the file in GeoStudio. We can go to uh, Windows Explorer and go to the folder where we have the file that we have been working with called Seep from Picture. Highlighting the file, right mouse click, we can say Open with WinZip. And here are the files that are inside the compressed GeoStudio file and you will see some uh, a ghost table file, a node table file. You can see here the uh, pictures and All of the input data is in an XML document. Double clicking on the XM clicking on the uh, XML document, you can see all of the input data in XML format. And uh, if you are familiar with XML editors, you can make use of this data if necessary. Here is, for example, a node table. And clicking on the node, here is an, a CSV table of the output that has been computed. If you get to a transient analysis, for example, there would be one of these tables for each time step. And here is another table, also a CSV table with a ghost data. These are the detailed at each ghost point and other data that exists inside the GSZ compressed file. The main point here is that the data that is produced and held by GeoStudio in the GSZ files is data that is accessible to you as a user for those who are interested in using the data for other analyses and uh, extracting the data for other purposes. That is all that I will say here at this point. Uh, the important point is that you have access to all of the files that are inside the GSZ compressed file associated with each GeoStudio analysis and file.